hey what's up coders welcome back to my channel today i'll be showing you how to create this simple dashboard using flutter i'm using flutter's staggered grid view and um, and all my tiles contain a very simple icon and a text um, definitely uh, this is not the only pattern you can get creative with your patterns where you could have um, instead of this one grid view you could have multiple grid views or even you can have a bigger tile like this so or you could have graphs inserted in it or you could have a text and an icon next to it and not one below the other so you can definitely work on your tiles and get it in a different way so today i'll be showing you how to create this model so to start up with we need to first add a dependency which is the flut flutter staggered grid view and this is the dependency i'm using and once you do that next you got to import the package so here i have the first main.dat file where it's just the uh, material app and it has a dashboard it's just calling your dashboard.dat so all your tiles would be created in this dashboard dot that file so what i'm going to use is first i'm going to start by creating a body uh okay before that we need an app bar i think there is a missing app bar so let's start up with an app bar so we have scaffold and i'm going to create a simple app bar with just a title Nothing fancy. So it's the app bar with the title, and I'm gonna say uh, dashboard. Okay, there you go. And uh, okay, I think I'm missing a text. okay so i'm gonna add some style to it okay and the style is nothing but just the color which is white So we have defined our app bar now. Next, moving on to the, okay, let me add a comment just to know which is the ending brace. So after my app bar, I'm going to have the body section. And as I mentioned in earlier that I'm going to use a staggered grid view. So there are two constructor. One is the staggered grid view count and staggered grid view extends. These are the two things that I'm going to use and I'm going to tell you how it works. So the first one is the staggered grid view count. There you go. So in this we got to define the cross axis count so this cross axis count is nothing but the number of columns you want now here I'm using a two column staggered grid view now I can even have four columns so it's personal it's purely your personal choice so first I'm going to show you how it looks with two column and then I'm going to show you with four columns and you can see how this layout would look like so to start up with i'm going to use two columns okay and i'm going to add a couple of other properties like cross axis spacing and i'm going to give 12. now what is this cross axis spacing is is the spacing between your tiles this spacing and i'm also going to add another property called as main axis spacing 
and I'm gonna give a 12 as well and this spacing is nothing but the spacing the spacing between your tiles so whatever you see here that's your main spacing and the cross is between your tiles in the vertical fashion so the horizontal and the vertical spacing now once I've defined okay now I've defined the axis count the number of columns the spacing then next moving on to the padding I want to give a padding just to keep it nice and clear so I'm gonna say edge and sets and I'm gonna use symmetric with vertical and horizontal sp spaces so horizontal I'm gonna give a 16 and vertical I'm gonna give an 8 there you go so this is something which you define in your body and now comes your tile definition now this is the children part now I can keep on defining my tiles here but I'm not going to do that because when another developer reads your code or if you want to work on it it is really difficult so what I do is I'm going to create a function my items okay for each tile I'm going to call this function so I'm going to use my items and um, okay for the first icon I'm going to use a graphic EQ and uh, the name of the tile total views and the color that I'm going to use is this one so this way I'm defining all my tiles so I'm going to add the other values and I'll let you know okay there you go so I've added all the relevant icon text and the color for the each tile so so you can see these icons and colors so now after this we got to define another property called staggered tile extent now that's what actually defines your height of the tile and how many columns you're going to pick it up so for that we got to use something called staggered tiles and this is where you're going to define so we say staggered dot extent now see you can see the cross cell count now the cross axis cell count defines how many columns I'm going to occupy here so in my first tile I can see that it's occupying the entire screen which is the cross axis two count so I'm going to say two and this is the main axis extent so this is basically your dynamic height of your tile and I'm going to give it as 130 so this way I'm going to define all my tiles now the second one by looking at the picture since this entire thing is two columns so this would be obviously one column with a particular height so I'm going to say one and I'm going to give a different height so this way how, how many of our tiles you've defined here you got to define the same number of uh, tiles extent here so I'll show you another one as well since this is also going to be one column with the same height it's going to be the same value and okay this all these four blocks are of same extent values so I can use this so I've covered the first one which is two columns and height 130 and this one is one column one column one column one column so this in total makes two columns and this in total makes two columns now if you look at this flow style it takes two column but the height is entirely different so we give a greater height value so what I'm going to do is I'm going to call this I'm going to say 
2 and instead of 150 I'm gonna say 240 so that way it gives a bigger tile spacing so usually they use this kind of um, tile to picture your graphs or maybe comments or anything you could use it in any way so the last one is again it's going to be a two column but the height is going to be a, a lesser one so i'm going to use two column with a height of 120 okay so now i have my staggered tiles defined i have my icons colors and title defined now i'm going to define this tile how do i create this tile so that's what i'm going to do in this my items